northwest 5 feet at 13 seconds. The next tides at north speed low tide at 7 10 Thursday morning. High tide 6.7 feet at 139 Thursday afternoon. Okay, so here we have we have these clouds. We this is August 24th. Two, it's two o'clock in the morning, and we have this fog. I noticed the gap in the, between the. There was a clearing and fog gap. Once again, I've done videos about that before, and. I saw it today, but didn't take any pictures. Anyway, we have the fog over us at this point. There's a gap up there, but basically, there's no wind, and very likely we have harp um, pushing something. I can hear the harp frequencies. You can see there's, you might be able to see there's a line there, a slight line, but we have the general fog here. So, for the last probably two or three weeks, we've had nothing but overcast. We've had a lot of wildfires. Um, this is the first time I've noticed the harp frequencies. The harp frequencies are basically, it's like the sound of a microwave humming in the, back, in the background. It's like, often like the sound of a car idling outside your door, and whatever. Um, sometimes similar to when you're going, driving up a hill and your ears are about to pop, but they don't pop. Um, I do not feel, I do not feel pressure in my ears like I have felt before. And, but I do hear the frequencies. And this, these frequencies pretty much started right around two o'clock. And so, mainly what I wanted to talk about was the uh, Navy's Northwest Testing and Training Program. I've done a video on that before, several videos. Here's the forecast, basically, excuse me. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Patchy drizzle and fog after midnight. Lows in the mid-50s. Northwest wind 10 miles an hour. Thursday, mostly cloudy. Patchy drizzle and fog in the morning. Highs 59 to 69. Northwest wind 5 to 15 miles an hour. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. But anyway, the mainly mainly the reason why I wanted to make this video is because, um, and I've talked about this before. Basically, the Navy's Northwest Testing and Training Program. Uh, they sent me a letter. I um, got on their mailing list because I went to one of these, they had two or three community meetings about the Na Navy's proposed testing and training off the coast. They call it whatever, military readiness training, testing and training program. They'll be doing basically war maneuvers off our coasts, and basically this encompasses most of the coasts along around the United States.
Uh, from what I understand, it's the West Coast and the East Coast. Certain zones, particularly um, near the shore. And so, now back to one of these meetings. When I went to one of these meetings, the I got there early and talked to three three or four people who were representing the Navy. And they said they knew nothing about the HARP, HARP High Oral Research Program uh, activities. So, um, the Navy is a partial sponsor of the original HARP program, the HARP High Oral Research, Active Research Program, which basically uses microwave uh, X-band radar to heat the ionosphere to produce weather events so basically they it's like shooting a microwave up into the ionosphere and manipulating the pressure zones and then when they spray the particulates from the geoengineering um, they can basically push or pull any of the moisture in the air anywhere they want it make storms create droughts um, etc however when I went to this meeting that the Navy sponsored, whatever community meeting, uh, they had no idea about HARP and the High Active Oral Research Program. Uh, which was kind of daunting. And so basically they asked me to get on their mailing list uh, and I think for some reason they thought it was important that I got on the mailing list. I, I think that there was part of these Navy people that knew that I was uh, sort of a, a, mi a microcosm of the macrocosm and I'm sure that these Navy people had lots of friends in in the whatever civilian, non-military um, arena of society, and felt that I kind of represented some of their friends that were non-military. Anyway, so they got me on the mailing list. I and you can get on the mailing list too. I guess it's not a big deal. Anyway. They sent me another letter. Basically, it's going to be the final nail in the coffin. Um, they're, they're looking for uh, whatever final comments on what they're doing. So, basically, the way I see it is that uh, the Navy is warning us. They're telling us we're part of their experiment. Uh, and so... They have the, the frequency technology that that is able to manipulate brain waves, uh, induce emotional states. Um, yeah, so the technology is, is pretty advanced. They're probably 30 years ahead of what they want the public to know about. And so, yeah... I'm going to list the information about the uh, NETIS or Northwest Testing and Training Program contact information. information and uh, if you haven't contacted them already and uh, suggest they stop experimenting doing military research on the general public then I suggest you do that immediately so that's the main reason for my video and once again the way I see it is basically the Navy is waiting for the, some of the people who are military personnel are waiting for the civilians to say hey you know this is not right, um, including us in military experiments.
Um, and so I don't know how much feedback they have, but I'm certainly giving them my uh, feedback. And so I suggest you do that too as well. Thanks for watching.